Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. I hope you're doing well. I am very good getting ready to pack the bags and head to Morgantown. Got to knock out a couple daily deliveries before we hit the road. I'm, uh, I'm glad to be going out on the road, but this is a really interesting stretch for Kansas State football. And this trip to Morgantown just isn't a game in my view. It's going to define this team. Can this team be thought of as great or will it go down as good? I'll get into that in a second. First, a reminder to please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Your support is just absolutely amazing. Hit the thumbs up, leave those comments. Let's see if we can get to 15K by season's end. I don't know we can, but we'll try. West Virginia is a good football team, so I don't want you to take anything I, I'm going to say here as dismissive of the Mountaineers. I have a lot of respect for Neil Brown and, and that team, and you go back a couple years ago when they were really struggling, K-State went in there with a team that did go to the Big 12 Championship and did have to fight to beat West Virginia. It was Garrett Green's first start at quarterback, and it was obvious that team wanted to play for him. Now here we are going back to West Virginia, and K-State has another big task, and Garrett Green's still the quarterback. You see, really good teams go out on the road and might win. Great teams just take care of business. They take a shot from Colorado. They respond in the last two minutes to get a touchdown. They go to West Virginia, and they're going to face a physical team that probably will be playing for their coach's career, and they know that. They're going to get a good shot from West Virginia. They just are. If they want to be great, they have to win this game. And maybe just winning it is enough, but I think making a statement in this game that we can handle this. We don't have to go to the wire. We can put this out of reach and win by double digits. If K-State plays well, I truly believe they will win by double digits. But if they come in lacking focus and emotion like they've shown previously on the road, they're going to be in big trouble and they'll probably lose. But that isn't what this team should be about. There's no reason why this team can't be really good on the road. They just showed what they can do at Colorado in a really tough environment with a lot of distractions. You got stars lined up on the sideline watching the game and all of the, well, circus around the Colorado football program right now can be distracting. There's a lot of publicity. But K-State is earning the right to play on very big platforms. This game's on Fox. I'm not sure where next week's game will be, but it sounds like it'll be at night so that television can have it in kind of a key slot. Winning this game, heading home to play Kansas and heading to, on the road to Houston, seems like the stretch of the season that Kansas State needs to own. They played five games and had a break. Now they've played four games and they'll have a break. And then they play three games and it'll be time for the Big 12 Championship. You win these middle four and they're one down. You win these middle four. You're going to be rolling back home after a bye week to take on two home opponents in Arizona State and Cincinnati before finishing at Iowa State. All roads point to Ames. You just can't drive off the road along the way. Keep your eyes focused on what's ahead and keep taking care of business.